welcome, welcome to my nightmare.
That was undermatched too, wasn't it? Friggin' <laughs> Oh good lord. Will these videos load? <sighs> no. Oh shit, sorry. Why don't these damn videos load? The Battle of Midway was a huge victory for us, but the Jap ambush took the edge off any satisfaction we might have felt. There was no way it was a coincidence that a whole Jap squadron found us all alone out there. Someone had to have told them where and when we were patrolling. Somehow, the Japs who'd found us were from the 13th Squadron. I'd splash Kato Fujiwara, another of their aces. Callahan and I went and talked to the Admiral. We told him about the ambush and the earlier sabotage to my Corsair as well. He listened closely. We were making some pretty serious claims. Sabotage was one thing. It could just be a little professional rivalry for top place on the kills board. But the ambush, well, that's an act of treason, punishable by death. The boys were jumpy. News of the ambush had spread, and now there were rumors of a rat in the ranks. The Battle of Midway was where everything changed. We broke their codes, and their plans were clear. Most of our fleet was waiting for the Japs to show up ready to get revenge for what they did to us at Pearl Harbor. We had three carriers there, the Enterprise, the Hornet, and the Yorktown. To back them up, we had eight cruisers and 17 destroyers. But the Jap fleet was awesome. They sent six carriers, seven battleships, 14 cruisers, and 42 destroyers. Against their fleet, ours looked insignificant. The battle lasted three days, and when the smoke cleared, we saw the damage we'd done. We took out four of their carriers, the Akagi, the Kaga, the Hiryu, and the Soryu, and the heavy cruiser Mikuma. All up, we only lost one carrier, the Yorktown, and a single destroyer. But it wasn't just ships that the Japs lost at Midway. We also splashed twice as many of their planes as they got of ours. A lot of good Japanese pilots were shot down at Midway, and I don't think their Air Corps ever recovered. In just three days, we'd broken the back of their fleet, their carrier strike force, the Kiru Batai was all but wiped out. Even with their fleet wrecked, the Japs still had control of most of the Pacific. And thousands of miles south of Midway, the Japanese took control of Guadalcanal. My grandpa was on the Hornet, the later Hornet, CV-12. I miss him. He was a good guy. My role model. Actually, have a lot of his things in the middle of the video up with him. Right now, it's going to be too late. It's a long video. It's already late. I had my driver training today. I'm now certified driving the ambulance. <laughs> nice. Uh, it was a good day. It was intense. I right. put this last little video on and I'll tell you. The Japanese are close to completion of an airfield near Lunga Point on Guadalcanal. If this airfield is completed, the Japanese will cut off the Allied line between Australia and the U.S. Your mission is to attack the airfield and its surrounding defenses. Once these are destroyed, our C-47 transports and landing craft will deploy and secure the area. We also have some good news for you. Due to the shortage of qualified pilots, the Army has agreed to make available several P-38 Lightnings. The Japanese also have some new fighter types, so keep an eye over your shoulders.
six cash on that. 